Yeah. So yeah, there's true. something there's something that you've been working on. Um, yeah. So there's a website. I've been using the website uh, Sogi One Two Three Task Force uh, for mm. the book reviews. You also have Unmasked Cult for book reviews oh. as well. Yeah. So I I use them. I link them in all my videos where I talk about yeah. books, and uh, a lot my of people website, have seen. Yeah, my website is exposing Sogi One Two Three dot com. Exposing Sogi One Two Three. Okay. So yeah, yeah. you've Did been you working on something new. Yeah, that one yes. is pretty cool, actually. Yeah. So what have you been working on? I saw you have like a database with all the schools. Uh, what is it? What are you hoping to accomplish? How can people help you? Um, uh, my website, my gosh. <laughs> can I share my screen? Absolutely. Be good. Let me just, you know, just go. Gonna share that screen here. Okay, so this is my website. And uh, exposing soji123.com. And uh, yeah, so I create this website. Uh, just very simple, actually, man. I do this uh, on my free time. And uh, what I start to do recently is I create a directory here with all the, uh, all the, because I got, uh, I got couple server. Because what I did a couple years ago is I don't know most of the informations of school districts and put this on the, uh, on my server, the public information, because I thought they were about to delete it, right? But which they didn't do, they didn't delete it, they, they even put more stuff, you know what I mean? For, but anyway, so I I filter what is important and I start to put uh, everything uh, on this website, on this directory. So if you go a provincial, let's say, here, and uh, you're going to have all the school districts uh, right there. You see, then within the school districts, you can have the list of books. You know, so I'm adding and adding stuff like every week. Now I'm at uh, 4,953 files. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot, actually, because I got uh, a lot of files. I just need to go through it. So that's the new portions of the website. Here I got the book review where you can look at the book. You know, so I buy the books and I make the own reviews of the book. This book is Giz right there. So yeah, so uh, that's the, uh, that, I think that's a portion that uh, people use a lot, is the book review. And uh, the book location too. I start to put something uh, about the book location. Let's say if I put Abbotsford. George, let's see. So if I click on George, it's going to show me exactly where the book is. This is the book is in all those schools here. Now you see somebody is using that book. Yeah. And uh, other things, the teacher misconduct case. So here, if you want to look at, uh, uh, I put most of the teacher misconduct case related to sexual abuse on this side. So you can search teacher by name, let's say, and uh, you select the case. Then you got the case here. Yeah. So uh, then you got all the teacher misconduct case. I update this every every week. I try. Uh, how many a, how many cases are there? Uh, over roughly? a thousand case actually. I'm not sure if I put all of them. Maybe that one. Maybe that one's got fifteen hundred case. I don't think I put all of them, but that's a lot. That's yeah. a lot of cases. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, right? Since 1988, 1998, sorry, 1998, uh, I found over two thousand case of teacher misconduct related to sexual abuse. Okay. So this is big I, man, because this is, this is only on uh, on three province in Canada. I three. really wonder Pierre, I really yeah. wonder because everything is really protected right now and yeah. people don't really know. Mm -hmm. And this behavior, like I said, is, uh, celebrated. I'm yeah. really wondering how many teachers would fall into conduct cases if people were speaking out now sometimes oh i wonder gosh. about that that that's gonna be crazy man it's already happening it's already the case are popping up like crazy i'm gonna show, i'm gonna do a live on this actually so this is the site i go in bc to find the case so yeah so that's the way that's the way i do it man then i got the case i put this on the site usually, usually i read the create a case i made a review of the case and then i put all this stuff on the site so uh one by one it's horrible to read 
trust me. So, so yeah, so then you got the Ontario College of Teacher when you can find the case and you got another site uh, for the Alberta. So an earlier trick for people, if you want to have all the case, uh, or most, most of the database work like that, okay? So instead of putting the name, put nothing and just click enter. When you click enter, you're gonna have all the case. And you just click, click, click. Most of the database online work like that. So if you don't put anything, put enter. You're gonna show you everything in one shot. I got a little document I make here about mid-school abuse. You know, the infant hack BC in BC that uh, allowed children to consent to uh, puberty blockers and a lot of other stuff, vaccines and all this stuff, right? Major, major, man, and minor concern, you know. So the puberty blocker is here. And you see, if I go here, uh, puberty, uh, BC Children Hospital, if I click here, you see, this is right on this side. Gender clinic, provide treatment with puberty blockers and or gender clinic. We accept if you're all up to patient 17th birthday. Could you imagine? So there we go. That's insane. That's it insane, is insane man. right? Huh? So they take they take the youngest one, man. So it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And then BC Trans, same thing. You click here. It's them right on this site right now. Oh, mm -hmm. man. If you are under the age, a long-lasting gender dysphoria, blah, 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 right? Yeah. And they, that, that one, actually, they got, they got the wrong map. The, and the BC Children Hospital is a very reputable hospital in BC. It's no, no kidding, man. It's, it's a very reputable one. And here we go. They push puberty blockers to children. So, and uh, well, what is the next? Yeah, the, well, that's the BCTF with the uh, the BC uh, Teacher Federations with all the Suji stuff that they, they, uh, they teach to children. Yeah, so one, one, one of the teacher resources there teach children's... Uh, uh the pleasure is of touching the body part yeah and one 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 guy that told uh, uh, uh that's that's a man actually that write the resources he said that uh he told children to write a penis and a vagina on a piece of paper so what the purpose of it you know what, what's the purpose of telling a child to write a, a vagina or a penis on a piece of piece of paper it's nonsense yeah, yeah, oh man, yeah, it's, it's nonsense. I have Here's no words. Couple, uh, couple, uh, yeah. Here I put link of uh, some videos that some organization does, so interesting video. Here it's, uh... oh, it's, it's on my video actually with me. Yeah, so this is linked directly to your site. So every time somebody click here, it's going on your, on your YouTube channel. So, so yeah, I got all the video and I got John, John Oler video. He's a very well reputed psychologist in the USA. Yeah. yeah. He's very good that actually. Yeah. Normalizing mm -hmm. pedophilia video up there on the top left hand corner. That yeah. was a very good video yeah. by Rebel News. And yeah. it was very disturbing, but very, very insightful. And it was just showing how uh, easily parents can be tricked into believing and how naive they are. Yeah. to leave their children with people like that yeah it's a good uh it's, it's, john is amazing man john's i would like to see john with jordan Peterson have a discussion yeah that would be amazing those two guys together i mean like a you know a discussions about uh uh about all the cities all the see the trans agendas and all this stuff i think that that would be very good because john is he's got a very unique experience uh on the ground, right? Because you work with pedophiles and you work with survivor, right? So when he was in the jail system for a long time, I think he's still in the jail system, doing some treatment, whatever this means for uh, for pedo, you know. So um, anyway, so yeah, I got Suji, couple Suji activists here, you know, couple document I made. The letter, that's my letter I sent actually to school district. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a very, um, very simple website, but there is a lot of information there, man. It's crazy. Yeah, this is, yeah. So I, I, what I do too is, uh, if anyone wants to have this page on their website, I just give them all the page. I don't mind. So I share, I don't mind people using all my data because I just want this thing to hand. You know what I mean? 
So yeah. if people want to have this page on their website, I'm just going to give them all my book reviews, all the, the way I do this, I give them the HTML files and they do whatever the they want with it. I don't mm-hmm. care, man. This is just, yeah, yeah. I just want this all of the school. That's all I want, man. So this, this is, it's been there for a while, but I hope one day I'm going to put the close button on this site and it's going to, it's going to be close. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hope one day I won't need to do a site like that. That's what I mean. So, so hopefully that there's going to be soon. So, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so, so yeah, that you, so somebody wants to, to, to read the books there. And if, if anyone, uh, want me to review a book, just tell me I'm going to buy the book and put the book right there. That's what I do. I buy the book, by the way. It's not like I just, I don't find review online. I buy the book myself. Then I put, uh, I put the book, uh, I do the reviews and put the review there. Yeah, that's what I do uh, for a lot of people. So that's it, man. Yeah. It's very other, yeah. Oh, yeah another, really... thing that, another thing that parents should know is uh, when you go to book location, I, I put a little link here. It's, uh, it's the, um, that's where I find the book. That's the Follett Library. Okay, this is for most district in Canada and USA. And uh, yeah, Canada, USA. Then, you know, you click here, let's say you put the name of uh, the school. You click on the school. Oops, I clicked too fast. Then there we go, so I got, I got that school here. Now I can start to make some... Uh, So for all the viewers, he just typed in gender over there and all the books that have the topics of gender come up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and I can I can put the authors, let's say Alex, do you know? You see George, Rick, okay, that's not good. So you can search by author and keywords and all of that stuff. Yeah. So this yeah, is a can... really good tool for people to search if there's a certain book or to see how many books with a certain uh topic there are in the library yep. for a specific yep. school and sometimes it said the waterloo okay the waterloo actually the waterloo the, is not there okay so the waterloo school district actually is very fun because waterloo school districts let's see if i remember uh, just try to find usually what i do because the waterloo is not on follet it's somewhere else so usually you go on the site on the school district and uh, if you go into learning is that on the learning, on the learning tab see? and go go on the right hand on the drop down the library right there right yeah oh, yeah right okay so there we go so that's the library of waterloo the beauty with waterloo library is that <laughs> It, that library is amazingly easy to use because it shows you all library here. So if I click here, I can choose the school or I can go to all library. So the beauty of it is I can do a research in all library one shot. So here we go. So the, gen, the gender query here, it's in two books. Hmm. Two books, I thought that was. It used to be one book, but now they. Yeah, that's why they stock. Yeah, they They double their stock. One hundred percent increase in the amount of books available. So that one, yeah. So you can see that the yeah the gender queries and you know you you go like said the uh, this uh, book is key. Enter. Oh, did I spell it good? No, I spell it bad. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, I know that this book. Okay. So you see these two locations and those one are ebooks and no you even have a nose book. Oh my gosh, man. I wonder what kind of voice do you use for that one? For the audio book. So you see I know that the book is geese all in all those schools and that one is on display. It's pretty nice, huh? And if you want to know, let's say you got this book is gay, and uh, now you know it's there, you go on the book review, 
this book is gay and now you got all the review right there on my side this is the yeah this is the book i was talking about earlier to all the viewers and listeners it's basically yeah. a manual on how to groom kids look at the language blowies bumming yep. handies uh and it's talking about all the fun ways you can have sex and where yep. boy on boy sex if you go up a little bit uh there's a little diagram part one boy yeah, on boy enough. sex yeah here's a diagram of a boy uh yeah. um, thinking he's go a down a little more yeah and if you, if you go down a little bit more pierre uh there's just up uh, one more one more just a little bit i cannot go down more No, sorry, go up just a little bit. Okay, down just to, so I can see the bottom of this page. You good? A little lower, a little lower. Uh, lower, uh, like the other way, sorry. Keep going. Okay, stop. So you can choose to do nothing, you could sit with these feelings and okay. hope they go away, or you could choose to acknowledge them and act on them, have the sex you want to have or wear the clothes you want to wear, but choose not to define yourself. Or number three, you can choose, you can act on them and adapt an identity to define yourself. This is the bit yeah. where you'd get the membership card and become part of the community. I find this very troubling to mm -hmm. adopt a sexual identity. Yeah. So let's take a look at uh, the blooming, the blue, blue readings. Oral, or, oral sex is popping another dude's pin in your mouth or indeed popping yours in his. Okay. So this is what, this is what we call sexually explicit material. This is clearly that. Okay. So if I go, wait a minute, I'm just going to pull out the, so for all the viewers and the listeners, uh, yep. Pierre is just accessing the criminal code C46 and we're in section 171. Yeah. So, so this in this is... subsection, sexually explicit material means material go. that is not child pornography as defined in subsection 163.1. And that is a, a pornographic film video or other visual representation, whether or not it was made by electronic or mechanical means that shows a person who is engaged in or is depicted as engaged in explicit sexual activity or the dominant characteristic in which is depiction for sexual purpose of a person's genital organs or anal region, or if the person is female, her breasts, Written material whose dominant characteristic is the description for a sexual purpose of explicit sexual activity with a person or an audio recording whose dominant characteristic is the description, presentation or representation for a sexual purpose of explicit sexual activity with a person. So the book called This Book is Gay, available in ebook format available in normal book format and also available in audio format has yep. depictions of sexual activities and descriptions. There we go. So that's mean that this book cover all the three sections of that sections in regards to sexually explicit material. So it is, when I say it is sexual, when parents say the books are sexually explicit, they are according to the criminal code. Right, and this and this section is for children. This section is for making sexually explicit material unavailable to child. Okay, there we go. So that's the sections. Every person who commit an offense would would transmit, make available, or distribute, or sell sexually explicit material to. There we go. You can read it if you want. But... A person who is or who is accused believes is under the age of eighteen 
for the purpose of facilitating the commission of an offense with respect to that person under subsection. And then list a subsection and a person who is or who the accused believes is under the age of 16 for the purpose of facilitating the commission of an offense or a person who is or who is the who the accused believes is under the age of 14 for the purpose of facilitating the commission of an offense under section 281 with respect to that person. So that I mean? know yeah, in Ontario, mm -hmm. uh, children under the age of 16 cannot consent regardless of the perceived consent. You know, so mm -hmm. there's no such yeah. thing as informed consent or minors that uh, that have the ability to consent. Mature yeah. minors is the word, mature minors. Yeah. And look at the punishment. Every person who commits an offense under subsection is guilty of an indictable offense and is liable to imprisonment for a term of not more than 14 years and to a minimum punishment of imprisonment for a term of six months or is guilty of an offense punishable on summary conviction and is liable to imprisonment for a term of not more than two years less a day and to a minimum punishment of imprisonment for a term of 90 days. So there is jail time for that. It's minimum three months, actually. Uh, no, yeah, three months, yeah. So you know what I mean? So there is, it's, it's not something that people should do, show sexually explicit material to children, it's right into the criminal code. And there is no, no defense.